Hi guys, and welcome to part 15 of Final Fantasy 3. Hopefully that number stays uh, is correct, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but yeah, hope everybody's doing well. We're continuing on from where we left off, and we'll be uh, checking out the Cave of Shadows next, and that'll be the entirety of this part. Uh, so from Amor, I uh, just want to fly all the way to the north through the desert. And we get this funky little maze, actually. I, I, I do dig... I've already gone the wrong way. <laughs> you, you know what? I've even got a horribly drawn map out. Um, it is uh, from the sort of um, copied from the uh, ASCII art that I drew on, on my notes. And even with the map, um, I did go the wrong way. And you know what's even sillier is that I actually did that in my little test play through, which. Um, I've literally just done, normally I tend to do uh, about uh, a, a test of like the first uh, or the next three parts and then um, record the parts um, uh, uh, the, the day after, but um, yeah this one I've literally just done it and I've no excuse, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> but anyway uh, if you follow this little maze um, it's not too complex, um, just go the way I went, apart from that first one where I went the wrong way, don't do that. And uh, you should lead here. I did actually check the enemies here, and they seem to be more of the same of what we've encountered. And if you've been following the playthrough um, to, to the letter, um, you, you should have most of the enemies in, in this cave actually as well. Uh, so we've got the um, Valifor, Haniel, Deathclaw, Selenus and Gap uh, that we've have already um, encountered, uh, but I will keep them in the edit um, if you do see them here as well, just so that you've got an idea of what they look like. Uh, but what we're looking out for uh, specifically is the uh, Hellish Horse, the Kronos, and the Visago. Um, so we get a couple of items here: uh, the Black Mask and Dark Claws, but. Um, if you speak to this knight, this dark knight, um, we get a Kotetsu. Uh, we'll also be getting another dark knight weapon as well. So if you've not been to that dark knight village that we went to last time with Falgabad, um, it might be pretty handy just to speak, make sure that you speak to him. Um, and definitely um, pick up the, the weapons that you, that you get here. Uh, so these are our first sets of encounters. Um, there we go. Let's use the Soul Eater. Uh, now these encounters are, are pretty special. You might recall in the... I think they did it in the Ancients Maze as well. Was it the Ancients Maze? Uh, but where we were with Unai. Um, Ancient Moons, whatever it's called, uh, where the enemies we encountered did split uh, depending on who hit uh, hit them. And uh, that counts for the majority of the enemies here. If you don't kill them with a non-Dark Knight weapon, um, they will split. So just just be wary of that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep curing and um, I'll sort of spread out my uh, soul eater. Uh, so this place is uh, quite long, a bit of a maze, um, but um, not, 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 nothing too complex. Uh, the enemies here can be a little bit of a pain, uh, but uh, as you can see, quite a lot of experience as well, so um, there we go. And uh, yeah, we did get those two little enemies for the uh, little... Uh, I'm just uh, ticking them off. Uh, so yeah, the, the Kronos, uh, sorry, the Hellish Horse and the, um, the Sargo that we did encounter. Get another item there. Well, we'll go well after this fight. Let's uh, grab our Lilith's gifts. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I've been uh, But yeah, I, I was just saying that the enemies that we can encounter on floors um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, those are the Hellish Horse and the Visago. Uh, you can also see the Kronos from floors uh, 3 onwards, uh, so that's the enemy that we want to keep a look out for now. Um, so, uh, bear with me a second. Uh, and yeah, here simply we just want to 
um, follow the path up and down and all around. Nothing too complex. Um, on this floor, I want to go immediately to the right. Um, and here we go. This is the oops. Um, this is the Kronos enemy. So I'll try and see whether we can get the enemies splitting up. Uh, now, magic attacks, they don't actually affect the enemies splitting up, so um, you don't have to worry about um, about magic. Uh, in, in fact, maybe you might want to swap your other physical attacker to... There we go, that's a divide. Uh, you might want to maybe swap your other physical attacker to either Dark Knight with Dark Knight weapons or... Uh, or mage. Um, now I tend to find that the clone tends to be a bit weaker. Um, I'm not too sure on the specifics of how that works but um, yeah I'll um, maybe put an annotation in after looking in game facts. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Sorry I shouldn't have said that should I? That means that I've sort of bound myself to it. If you don't see an annotation pop up you can call me lazy, and uh, if there is an annotation that pops up saying that I am lazy, that means I've acknowledged that I am lazy, but so that I'm slightly less lazy to put the annotation in, but I'm too lazy to actually research for facts. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to get that covered for you guys. <laughs> so down here we get the Genji gloves. Um, those are again pretty handy for your Dark Knight. Your Dark Knight is going to be getting. Quite a lot of um, decent items here. Um, so yeah, e even if you have two of them, you will be getting some um, good. Um, so yeah, here we've got this little, quite a weird one. These little passages, uh, passageways. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll be getting quite a lot of uh, equipment for your Dark Knight. Um, again, if you've been to. Yeah, uh, we'll keep this battle in. I think this is the Haniel and the Balaport. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Gap and the uh, Salinas was a sort of clone of these enemies, I think. Oh, sorry, I don't even know why I attacked with a white mage. I should have cured or something. Um, it's a little bit silly. You can see that Balfour has a bit of a punch on him as well, right? Um, yeah, it's always interesting. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I think I mentioned it last time um, that we came across the Balfour. That it always reminds me of a summon from Final Fantasy X. Um, and yeah, we're actually going to be facing a boss that reminds me of another summon at the end of this um, little cave. Um, Again, I'll probably leave a couple more battles in than usual, uh, just because this place can be a little bit tough, and, and sometimes I think it helps if you actually see how, how the player is sort of um, managing their health and stuff. I, I think they are a little bit powered up, uh, or, you know, overleveled, um, I think, um, yeah, or 43, so they're more than good enough to handle it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's... Um, Okay, this is uh, quite a lot of enemies as well. Uh, I, I won't keep all of the battles in, so don't worry um, about that. I don't want to bore you, but um, yeah, so sometimes I think it's handy to sort of see what what the player, how they're handling, you know, their, their sort of MP management more than anything. Um, but yeah, uh, we're about halfway through the dungeon, so that's why I've shifted up to the Blazaga spell. Um, and again, because Ark is on quite low HP and because it's going to use Soul Eater. I thought that we'd um, um, use a cure there. Yeah, Soul Eater can be pretty handy as well, especially for dealing with multiple enemies. Um, so here, I um, want to go immediately to the right. Um, and at the end of this, we are going to get another weapon. Okay, um, I think this might be Deathclaw and Taniel. Okay, 
cool. Um, so we'll, we'll keep this fight in as well. I am spoiling you today with, with battles. Um, let's use a simple cure. And again, in hindsight, I think I might have done a cure just because of Ingus. Um, but we'll see. Um, again, Blizzarga doesn't affect um, the, the split. So, again, don't have to worry about that. Um, there you go. Sweet. Okay, let's continue on our way. On my way. <laughs> Sorry, what you saying? Uh, but, um, yeah, here we get the Kiku Ichimonji. Um, a weapon for Ingus. And there was a fact about this. I think Itchy means the leaven or something. Or oh, Itchy Monji does. Uh, in fact, I'll even keep the fact in and I'll edit a little gap out as I search what it means. Oh, it doesn't mean a leaven at all. Um, okay. Um, so Kiku Itchy Monji. Uh, chrysanthemum straight line often romanized with a somewhat misplaced uh, icon is a collective name given to a katana a type of Japanese sword made by 13 swordsmiths who were in attendance to the Emperor Gotoba in 1208 there you go guys straight from Wikipedia um, yeah. Don't don't say this is don't think this isn't educational. Right. Anyway, down down deep in down. <laughs> it's actually even a list of um, <laughs> the swordsmiths. And here we get the Genji shield. Not bad at all. And here we get out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty much a uh, exact same layout as a floor above. Um, so. If you're familiar with floor 6, you'll be familiar with floor 7. Um, this is a, a pretty groovy floor as well. Um, again, fairly short. Um, and here we get the Genji helmet. So, let's get that equipped. Um, again, I've not really put the shields on, but you can see his attack has, has shot up. And um, if you've had another... Uh, if you've had another... If you had another, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if you had another uh, Dark Knight with you, you might have wanted to split with Kuketsu, was it? And the uh, uh, Kiku Ichimonji uh, between them. Uh, yeah, on floor 9, if you go straight to the right, um, you can get the Genji armor. Uh, so, again, you can sort of see just how, how good it is for the Dark Knight's defense. Um, shot up to 90. Uh, and let's go fight the boss of this place after this battle. Okay, nothing too interesting there except Luna gained a level. I did actually gain a couple of levels in my test playthrough because I got a little bit lost um, when I was trying to explore some uh, hidden passages. There are quite a few hidden passages in this dungeon. Um, it's nothing much rare to be honest, so um, yeah, just follow the path I went and you'll get all of the items. Uh, now, before we face this boss, um, just kill the party. I might actually be in auto battle as well, so I'll have to make sure to switch straight out of here. Uh, but yeah, let's go fight the boss. Uh, we found it the Fang of Earth. Who dares break the eternal seal? I do. <laughs> attack Shadow attacks you. <laughs> and so yeah, this is a Hecaton share, and I was talking about summons with Balafor, and uh, yeah, obviously the one that comes to mind is um, of Final Fantasy XIII. Um, so I'm, I'm going for the, the curers, um, and yeah, just uh, using my highest spells. Um, it's got 28,000 HP. Um, that's what you're interested in. And yep, yeah, just the same old really, healing with the white mage, attacking with my attackers. You don't have to worry about uh, Hecaton's share uh, splitting or anything. I've got Favaga, 
Uh, some of you guys might not actually have Faragus, so um, I guess maybe I could use a, a lower level spell just so that... Um, yeah, uh, Blazargus should should do fine as well. Uh, we've also got our Kiragas available. Um, hopefully you'll have them at that at this point. Uh, but again, we'll uh, use Cure as stick with that. Um, and Jeff, yeah, uh, I, I think we've got enough damage output that this should probably last three and a half rounds. Let's see whether my uh, bet is correct. Um, <laughs> Maybe even less, you know. Um, <laughs> take it back, two and a half, two and a half. Um, but yeah, Blizzard is um, still doing plenty, yeah, so you don't need your fancy Faragas. Um I guess if you wanted to keep your Dark Knight safe, you could have um, it on the back row using Soul Eater. Um, and entirely up to you. Um, and um, yeah, I, I was reading on the strategy wiki actually that um, summons are pretty effective as well. So maybe if you're not at my uh, the, the levels that I am, um, if you've got an evoke in your party, uh, I think they mentioned Ufa is good for boosting and Shiva as well. Uh, sort of buffing, I should say. And um, we did also mention the, uh, the bards that you can uh, you know uh, add buffs to your party. There we go, three rounds. <laughs> um, so yeah, not 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 overly complicated. All right, we get a nice uh, chunk of uh, experience and a nice chunk of gill as well. Well done, I. Um, and uh, I, I must admit, usually uh, my practice runs uh, tend to go pretty smooth, and it's the um, there you go. We've got a bang of earth. We have to go back to Doga's Manor. I can't wait to see Unai and Dolga again. Um, yeah, but yeah, I feel like this went pretty smooth. Um, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to meet you outside the Cave of Shadows. So I'll catch you in a sec. Hey, guys. We're outside. Now, before we go further, I just want to talk to this guy again. Uh, he tells us about the uh, monsters that divide. Uh, I think I might have rushed past him a little bit um, during my playthrough. Uh, now, on the subject of division, for those of you accusing me of being lazy, I'll fret no more because I actually looked into it whilst I was um, on the journey out. And um, I found, um, according to the FF wiki, uh, divide or split. Um, uh, creates a copy of a user with the same current user HP. So uh, it's not when it creates a copy, the copy has less HP. It, well, it does naturally have less HP, but that's because it's um, just copying the current HP of its user, which would naturally have less HP. <laughs> so hopefully that Oh, that, that's probably the worst explanation. <laughs> uh, I, I'll just uh, read it. Um, as written from, Wiki, uh, from the FF wiki. So creates a copy of user with same current HP as a user. And there we go, that's our answer. So, no, I, I, I was, um, I did get off my backside and did look it up. Um, <laughs> so hopefully you impressed. Um, and yeah, that gave us something to talk about as I stumbled out of that maze. Uh, now I'm just heading back to a moor. Uh, we are going to end it here, folks, but um, next part, we've actually got some optional stuff, so I'm not going straight to um, Doug and Dune. Uh, we are going to um, get on with uh, a couple of optional summon quests, so that should be exciting. Uh, so that's coming up in part 16. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys then. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.